three important things of d free block these are truth table characteristic equation and excitation table so first let me give a brief introduction of d free block so you know in d free block this is nothing but uh, some sort of sr free block where you are putting one not gate in between s and r and this is a common terminal that is your d okay and you will have two output one is q n and other one is q n bar okay and as it is a flip flop definitely the clock input should be there you need to use the clock input so in truth table what are the things will be given to you you will be given input d you will be given the present state value q n using these two things you need to find out the value of q n plus 1 the next state output now the thing is what is qn plus 1 qn plus 1 means if you given some input in d and if you have applied clock what output you are getting that is known as qn plus 1 okay so presently whatever you are having in the output that is known as qn and after applying the clock after applying the clock and giving proper input what output you are having in this terminal that is known as qn plus 1 so if you denote present output by qn after applying the clock the next output will be denoted by qn plus 1. okay now make the truth table so in truth table what are the things will be given input d is given you have the present state that is qn and using these two things you need to determine the next output so next output means after applying the clock what output you are getting that you need to determine okay so as you have given two input four combinations you can make i will try to find out output for each of the combination so see the first two cases so in these two cases what you can observe d is considered as zero now if d is zero what it will do if d is zero what does it mean it means that the output will be zero only okay whatever may be your present output you are having the next output will be zero only and this particular thing is known as reset state what is reset when you are applying d equal to zero at that time this particular thing is known as reset state why is it still because whatever present output you may have after applying the clock immediately your output will be zero that's why this is known as reset now come to this particular two cases where d equal to 1 okay so if you consider d equal to 1 what is happening why and you are applying d equal to 1 this is known as set state set what is the meaning of set whatever may be your present output after applying the clock the output will be immediately it will be equal so it doesn't depend on the current output value after applying the clock immediately the next output will be one and that's why this is known as set set means you are making it one okay so this is all about the truth table of d free block now come to the characteristic equation how to make the characteristic equation you need to use the truth table and you need to make a kml you have the input variable d and q from there uh, d and q n and from there you need to find out the expression for q n plus one. this expression you need to find okay 0 1 0 now put the value in the kml 0 0 1 1 so you can make a pair here so it means we have d only so this particular equation is known as characteristic equation characteristic equation for d free flow okay now we'll discuss about the excitation table of d free flow so how to find out the excitation table of d free flow so you need to use the truth table then only you can make the excitation table excitation excitation table okay so in excitation table 
what are the things are available to you? You have QN and QN plus one means present state and next state output. Present output and next output are given to you and you need to determine the value of input. OK, this is known as excitation. So as you have given two variables, you can make four combination 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And using these things, you need to determine the value of T. So how to do? So you see 0, 0. QN value 0 and QN plus 1 is 0. How many times it came in the excitation table? One time. Here only. In that case, what was the value of D? 0. So you need to put it 0 here. OK, so follow the same procedure for the other combinations. Now, the next combination is 0, 1. Means QN equal to 0, QN plus 1 equal to 1. So you see where 0, 1 is there in the truth table. Here 0, 1. This is QN 0, QN plus 1 is 1. So in that time, what was the D value? That is 1. So you make it 1. OK, now check. The next combination. 1, 0. 1, 0, where it came here? Qn equal to 1, Qn plus 1 equal to 0. At that time, what was the value of D? 0. So you put 0 here. Now check the last combination. If it is 1, 1, so see where 1, 1 you have. This combination you have 1, 1. In that case, what was the value of D? That is 1. So you put. So this is the excitation table, and this procedure you need to follow to find out the execution table. Thank you.